Hi guys, welcome to Saps Edit and this is your Saps and now we are going to see how to create a very simple lighting effect in your After Effects in three steps. First, uh, before all this, if you visit our channel the first time, so don't forget to subscribe my channel and support me. I hope uh, you like this tutorial. So I have posted many tutorials for the After Effects and Illustrator and Photoshop too. So just follow the step by step you can make this such a uh, animation finally so before all this you need to uh, make the composition file so click here and create a new composition and give this i will give the ratio for the desktop mode and you can choose the many uh, ratio for your uh, requirement of your project file so click ok now now uh, we uh, I mean your new composition will be ready now if we were, uh, you need to make the uh, shape you need a shape for your lighting so I go choose the pen tool to draw the path for the uh, lighting shape so you can see here in the toolbar you can this pen tool will be uh, uh, here and the shortcut for the pen tool is G select the pen tool and draw the lines exactly randomizely as per your wish and if you want to change the size uh, you can adjust it and now uh, you need to give the stock value i got choose 15 if you want to more value you can choose it and now we can see the thunder will be here it will be very thick and this will be very thin so you need to uh, reduce this stroke value so go to the layer and here and content and shape and fill sorry fill not stroke if you turn on the stroke you can see here tapper you can see the tapper end length will be 0 percentage to 100 uh, I 50 will be good I think so give the 50 now you can see the shape this bottom will be thin and the upper will be thick so this is look like a thunder and uh, now you need to make the animation for this uh, path so if you're going to add a trim path by using a trim path you can make it animation for this uh, this uh, path so select the layer and here you can see add so uh, click here you can see trim path so click ok now the trim path will be animation will be added in your layer now you can see three values and start and end and upset uh, so if you choose the start value will be zero if you increase the started value will be 100 you can see here the trim will be trimmed from the top to bottom uh, or else you can use the n if this will be 100 if you reduce to minus 0 i mean not minus will be 0 you can see the trim will be down to i mean bottom to upper so now you are going to make it at a top if, if you want the thunder will be top to bottom so you can choose it will be 0 and turn on the timer button and move forward to your timeline will be one second now make it it 100 now play the video from start you can see that the path will be start from here to this way and down bottom now and after that you can you can see the uh, if permanently you see the lighting uh, but in real you can can't see the lighting if it, it disappear after the minute you reach the down so so do make this so select this move to be between uh, the center point of this frames and select the start where start value will be zero so turn on the keyframe and move forward to 1.5 sec 1.5 second and make it 100 now you can play the video i just it little bit now the play, play the video you can see 
now you can see that path will be start from here and move after reach this amount of bit of amount of long in the bottom will be automatically trimmed followed by this path so now you can make it this will be make look like a trimming fully so you need to make this path uh, trimming value will be very cute look like will make it more uh, yeah, I mean more smoothly so select all the keyframe and press F9 for the easy easy out so it will be make it smooth for your animation but the thunder will be very slow I mean if you you can see the thunder will be I mean lighting will be in fraction of second you will be get it uh, disappear so make if you want to speed up this animation select the, all the keyframes and uh, hold the alt key and drag it out to forward to starting point now play the video you can make it you can see that this will be uh, too fast little bit backward little bit now play this now it could i think it's cool starting and down now this is your first step and don't forget to sub, uh, save your file before you uh, complete the uh, when you start the your project file don't forget to uh, save the file because of you working on more uh, long duration or very big project if you may lose your project when you don't if you forget to save your file so forget it don't forget it sorry now uh, this is your first step it will be done now the second step will be make it uh, uh, uneven shape your, your thunder will be may not will be a linear shape or your smooth shape it will be some bushy or uh, some unwinning so you can going to make this uh, linear path will make it more uneven shape so for this if you're going to use for one preset go, so go to the effect and preset panel and type turbulent turbulent displacement this is a, a this is a effect you're going to use make this uh, thunder will be more look like a realistic so now you place this uh, disorder to your layer you can see you can various of uh, option here displacement amount size offset complexity and evaluation so first you make displacement is the default settings and make it at amount will be make it big uh, i think 130 and size you don't do you need to too much of size so make it size will be 13 and now a complexity will be 2.5 i think for you make you can see if you increase the complexity you can see the uneven noising texture so it's look like more even as per your realities so 2.5 i think good and now uh, evaluation will be done turn on rotate it little bit i think 90 90 degree will be cool now the play the video from start you can see go to fit i've played it you can see good if you want to make this animation don't if you think this is too big you can reduce your stroke value will be uh, 10 or 8 will be i choose 10 and reduce a size size will be uh, 10 and amount will be on complexity by adjusting these three values you can make it various of your uh, thunder ring so i choose this value 
now we play this video from start you can, you can see this will be created the uneven shape will be created by this step uh, and for now the third step will be you can choose this animation color i mean your thunder color will be not in white so if you want to change the color you can choose uh, go to the effect and preset panel and type fill you can here uh, fill to track out in your layer if your default color will be red and if you want to change this color so click here and choose the panel i just little bit uh, lighty blue okay now play this make it fit now play this video from start you can see in for this save this too now play this video you can see you can see make it more realistic now if you want to bit of glowing because of your lighting will be uh, make it more uh, bright so go to that effect and preset panel and type glow or drag it out into your layer drag it out into your layer you can see you can see the glow uh, glowing effect by adding this glow if i turn off if you turn on so you can adjust these values you can make it width of radius and the glow intensity and threshold too i will choose 100 for the radius intensity will be 2 and threshold will be 40 it's good I um, mean 50 will be good I think now play this you can see I will play it uh, now you can see you can see that that one will be glowing and this will be make it shape an even shape look like more animation you can use this animation in your project files you can easy it is a very very simple step uh, by this three step you can make it very variation of step you can change the path you can make it more different if you, you can easily change this path select this path now you can change the node while nodes from somewhere around uh, you can see the path will be uh, different now play this video the thunder will be different shape get a different shape so if you want to change this uh, thunder uh, color go to the fill and select mm -hmm. here you can choose different colors by as per your wish so select this this will be glowing yellow is if you want to change the color you can make it uh, just the uh, color in your fill so you can make it different colors and different combinations of by using these three so i hope you guys you like this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like this video real, click the like button and give your comments don't forget to give your comments so this is a, a very helpful for making my tutorial in, in future make uh, perfectly by your comments so give it your comments before you leave it thank you guys have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe my channel bye